extreme z-score development. The extreme z-score development analysis is based on absolute power deviances and consists of two parts. On the left plot, the z-scored absolute power of the most extreme z-score within a frequency band is plotted on a three-dimensional head. Let's focus on the upper left corner of the example page. Here we see a three-dimensional plot which shows the most extreme z-score within the delta band. In this example, the most extreme z-score within the delta band is 2.3 at channel PZ at 2 Hz. The three-dimensional plot is scaled between the minimum and maximum z-score within that particular frequency bin. This plot can serve as a tool to locate the hotspot or cold spot of deviant activity. On the right side of the three-dimensional plot, a graph is plotted which shows progression of the most extreme z-score as a function of age. In this example, the client is 9 years old. As mentioned earlier, the power of 2 Hz at PZ corresponds with a z-score of 2.3 at the current age of this client. Now suppose we compare the same power with younger and older age bins of the QEG Pro database. The resulting z-scores are plotted in the blue line. In the example you can see that the z-score would be smaller if the client would have been younger and larger if the client would have been older. This information can be used to form hypotheses about the neuropsychological origin of the deviant activity. In the current example it could be hypothesized that the deviant activity at 2 Hz at PZ is caused by a maturation lag. On the other hand, this client also has an excess in parietal alpha power, which is depicted at the bottom left corner. The age progression at this z-score shows the opposite pattern. The higher the age, the lower the z-score. In other words, while the excess delta power will be more abnormal with increasing age, the excess alpha power will become more normal with increasing age. In terms of treatment, the extreme z-score development analysis can give valuable insight in deciding what would be the most clinical relevant deviant activity to base treatment on.